morning. Uh, this is November 7th at 9.30 a.m. The Tax Committee and Planning and Zoning Committee. So would you please take a roll? All in favor? Here. Yes. Here. Whitlow? Here. All right. Uh, uh, could I have a motion to approve the agenda, please? No. Steve, second? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we're going to uh, audit the claims and send the county board for approval. Have uh, you looked at the claims? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, can I have a motion to accept them? I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Second. All right, uh, would you take roll, please? Uncle? Yes. Excuse? Yes. Little? Yes. Do we have any public comments today? Seeing none. And now we'll report from the department. County Clerk, Grant. Okay, so filing is going to begin at the end of this month for um, in my office for county board, uh, for state attorney, coroner, uh, circuit clerk, um, and then precinct committee people. Um, <clears throat> so that will be the last week of November, and then uh, which is begins the Monday after Thanksgiving. Um, we're having a demonstration of the new election equipment in here on the 20th of November. Um, it'll be for all of the election judges and then township supervisors who help us set up the equipment and things like that. So we're going to be in here if any of you are interested in seeing the new equipment, um, by all means come in or you can go down to the office. We have it set up down there. Um, <clears throat> We have levies that are still coming in, um, which I know we're going to be talking about the county's levy today. Now, looking at the sheets Jill provided, if we're going over the 105%, we're going to have to set a date for the um, truth and taxation hearing and make plenty of uh, time. So the notice can be published and then if anything changes from that so a second notice can be published if we have to not thinking that it's going to change but anyway just want to make sure that we are doing that in a timely fashion and then um with kurt not here uh something happened with the posting of um tax payments so he had to move the tax sale from the last monday of october and so that will now be taking place on the 21st of November. So it'll be in here that he's selling those delinquent uh, taxes. So anyway, just to keep you guys, I'm not 100% sure what the something was, if it was a uh, operator error, if it was an error between the company that they accept the payments from, um, not 100% sure, haven't gotten that out of them yet, but um, it just had to be changed. So that's going to be taking place in a couple weeks in here. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Well, let me, are we supposed to vote on that today? Or? You guys, that's what those worksheets are that Jill gave you. You'll be talking about that towards the end of the meeting, I'm assuming. It should be on your agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, Kurt's not here, so we'll go with assessment. Mia? Okay. So what I handed you were the RFPs um, for the camera and the aerial. So if those can get looked at and approved, I will ask Amanda to post them and then send them to the prospective vendors. So because of the cost of each of the programs and RFP had to go out for those. So there's one for each, the camera system and the aerial. Um, my hope is to get those posted today, sent out to the vendors that I'm aware of, and then get the, a deadline for November 27th. Um, I'm still looking for a board of review member. Has to be, so I'm supposed to have three board of review members per state statute. I currently have two of the Republican Party. The third one has to be a Democrat or independent. I have left a message for a couple of people without any response. Um, didn't have a lady come in the office that might be interested in it. 
but she does, she has a trustee, I believe, in Woodland, so I have to make sure that doesn't conflict with any state statute that she's a trustee. Um, in the office, we're working on our divisions and consolidations, which we have to get finished before we can equalize. And the equalization then is um, what I'm anticipating the high number that I gave Jill to be once that's all done. Um, good news, Middleport has contracted with Jim Sherrill, who is the Lota Township Assessor, to be their Township Assessor. So, good news there. Hopefully, they can start getting things assessed on a timely basis and properly now. Belmont did not want to go with Jim, so they're still without an assessor. Um, my hope is once I get equalization done and things moving forward in my office, I'll work with John and we'll go over to Jim Devine's office and develop something that the townships that are choosing to not get a township assessor, that there'll be a fee involved if the county has to do that work. So. All right, any questions for me? All right, thank you. Yeah. Now we have planning and zoning, Julie. So, um, we are collecting more uh, this year than we did last year. And again, as I previously stated, I think it's because building costs have just <coughs> gone down um, a little bit. So it's a little more affordable for people. Um, we even have two brand new homes that um, were permitted uh, this month. And um, overall from last year, we have a um, just over $16,000 increase and like I said, I really think that's just because building costs have gone down. And um, I have a ZBA hearing on the 28th coming up for Central Body. Um, it's conditional use. And um, just working on the watching training videos and stuff uh, regarding solar, trying to get more and more familiar with all of that. <laughs> All right, anything else? Um, just that um, our, on the agenda next is that we have for the um, revision on the violations. Okay. Uh, Questions for me? She were up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Keep looking at me. <laughs> all right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we got through that. Now we're going to have discussion action on ordinance changes. It's just um, the, I was, the committee asked me to be more clear in regard for a definition regarding when a building permit was needed and all of that. So I got with Jim and um, I attached um, in the paperwork that I pass out to you guys. Um, it's like the last page. Um, what he uh, said, um, was approved by him and that it could be amended um, in a text amendment. The 14.2 is where the changes take place. I just put the entire thing in there for you. Do we need a vote on this? Mm -hmm. Do <clears throat> okay, uh, any discussion for, to talk with her? Questions about that, you guys? Okay, uh, can I have a motion to uh, accept the ordinance changes? I'll make a motion. Second? Second. Discussion? Okay, do you take that? Huh? Roll call, please. Awful? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Whitlow? Yes. Okay, that passes. <clears throat> Discussion action on resolutions for parcels sold through the delinquent tax program. Okay, so everyone should have the list of uh, parcels that were provided from the county trustee 
These are all parcels that were sold through their auction process that they held in September. So I believe there are 25 parcels, 26 parcels that they sold. Um, on the back page of your list, it shows the total of the sales um, going to the treasurer of $23,311.28 for disbursement. Um, anyway, we just need a motion to approve the sale of these parcels. And they're throughout the county. It's not um, just a specific area. It's, and if you want to look at them on GIS or anything before the uh, county board meeting, um, you can. But these are just parcels that the trustee received through the delinquent tax process and they're now selling. All right, can I have a motion uh, to approve the sale of the parcels? Second. Okay. Yes, Hughes. Yes. All right, passes. All right, discussion and action on the 2023 levy worksheet or um, behind um, you want I, to make a motion? I would to send it to county board. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. Um, go ahead. You understand that that means if that's approved we have to do truth and taxation here. So we'll have to set a date for that at the county board meeting. We'll have to set a date for when the hearing is going to be since it's if you look at the bottom um, where it says the percentage of prior year's extension, if you're choosing to go with the high uh, assumed taxable EAV with all of the requests, that leaves you at 108.19%, which you can only go 105% of the prior year extension. So um, going over that 105% means that you'll have to have that truth in taxation. So is that a problem? It's not. It's just a matter of getting the date set. Like, I don't know if you remember last year, we kind of didn't talk about the levy in time. And so we had to have a special truth and taxation through, fi <laughs> through finance. And um, so it's just a matter of getting that truth and taxation hearing scheduled, having it. And then if there are any changes that have to be made, if there is a second required hearing, then we need to, like I said earlier, make sure we have a time frame that will allow for us to be able to have however many hearings that we have to have. So how is our time frame right now? Time frame is fine right now as long as we don't anticipate any changes, which through what we've received. Didn't you say there are some still coming in? Well, we still have levies coming in, but that's not going to affect the county levy. Oh. Right, right. <laughs> The taxing bodies that, um, like villages, cities, uh, townships, they have to submit their levy within the same time frame that the county has to. Um, I think it's worth it. The only thing that may change, as you'll see there in the last column that starts with 705 M EAV, is that fiscal year estimated to date 
That only includes the first and the second distribution. That does not include the treasurer's office final distribution. I have no idea what that's going to be. And um, with talking with Callie, um, who's the chief deputy over there, um, she didn't have a good estimate either, as this is her first year doing it. And she wasn't sure, you know, what all rolled into that final distribution. So those numbers there could increase. But other than that, the budgeted amounts and everything are in there are the same that's in the budget that'll be approved on Tuesday. So the way, the way I understand it, approving it today enables this truth and taxation hearing and so forth. But at the December meeting, we'll be giving final approval to the levy. Right. And adjustments or whatever. Yes. This is just the tentative. This is what you want to roll with, and then we can do that truth and taxation since it would be needed. Well, we've got a second, so why don't you go ahead and call, 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 yes, 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 okay. yes, passes. All right, any old business, new business. <coughs> I have a motion to adjourn this meeting. Mm. Second. Second. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'